Because the Philippines has no meritocratic system, anyone can run for a spot in the government. Even those people who do not finish their education can run. Even if you don't have credibility, you can run. Even if you already have a record of corruption, you can still run. Well, it is not actually a problem if you think about it. As long as the Filipinos do not vote for them, and only vote for those candidates who are actually capable. Then it is not a problem if they run. But that is another main root of the Philippines' poverty, because the majority of Filipinos keep voting for unworthy public servants. All right, so what are you saying? That we're wrong? Oh, everybody's wrong. I'm not saying that the Philippines never had good leaders and public servants, because they actually did. And I am not saying that all Filipinos don't know how to identify worthy candidates. But sadly, the majority are not. You see, based on the historical election data in the Philippines, the candidate who is a well-known celebrity has the highest success rate in winning the election because the majority of people in this country keep voting for candidates who are famous instead of those who are actually deserving because of their excellent educational background. In other words, the majority of people are obsessed with putting celebrities in office. But that's not the worst. The worst thing is that they keep voting for the same person or the same family to become their public officials. Yes, I am talking about the political dynasties that have been happening in the Philippines for centuries. If you're going to review the history of the Philippines, you will notice that many powerful families have already been elected to office, generation by generation. From the president down to barangay officials, political dynasty is noticeable in this country. You will be surprised if I tell you that in some parts or provinces of the Philippines, only one clan has been governing the land for decades. But what if I told you that that was not the longest political dynasty ever recorded in this country? Well, in La Union, Philippines. There is a political clan that is believed to have had the longest political dynasty for over a century. Oh, that was too many years of service, right? This clan should already have made their own kingdom. Speaking of kingdoms, these clans in every political dynasty are already insanely rich people in the Philippines. So it is not surprising that if you rank the richest people in this nation, most of them are from the political dynasty. I think you already have a clear understanding of why the Philippines has been poor until now. Believe me, if this nation has good governance with a zero to low rate of corruption, it will become one of the richest countries not only in Asia, but in the world. Every opportunity for wealth exists in the Philippines. From the abundance of natural resources, to access to the ocean, to a lot of tourist destinations, there are many skilled Filipinos, not only in this country, but all over the world. And this country also has many citizens who can speak English. This country almost has the key to becoming a first world country, except for good governance. But having good governance will remain a dream if the people in this country keep electing corrupt and unworthy politicians. And in order to achieve that, every Filipino should become aware of who is really deserving to serve the country. And the key? Well, it is education. You see, this country is still considered to have a weak education system because Filipino students are still among the world's weakest in math, reading comprehension and science, according to the global assessment, with the country ranking 77th out of 81 countries and performing worse than the global average in all categories. But not only that, in the Philippines, nearly 20% of Filipino children are not attending school or do not have access to school. And that is one of the big reasons why the majority of Filipinos can be easily fooled by the propaganda of corrupt politicians and political dynasties. And if all Filipinos have access to a good education, they will soon realize that their nation actually needs good leaders, and they will raise their standard in selecting government officials. Well, this matter is not only happening in the Philippines. Corruption and bad governance are also happening in all poor countries around the world. But one thing you can notice in every rich country is that they prioritize the education of the next generation over anything else. And if the Philippines do that as well, perhaps someday this country will become one of the rich countries in Southeast Asia.